Hi, everybody. My name is James Brinton. I am from iGaze Inc. We're based in Fairfax, Virginia. And this is a quick speed round with the iGaze Edge. We are located in booth 304, so if you would like to come and try it out afterward, we'd be happy to have you. We started in 1988, so we are the oldest eye tracking company here on the floor. With that old age comes a lot of stories, a lot of eyeballs that we've seen over the decades, a lot of um, things that didn't work, a lot of things that did work. So um, I'm really proud that we can be a part of this community to offer troubleshooting. We're not the biggest company in the world, but um, we're really interested in solving the problems that people can encounter when it comes to eye tracking. So that's who we are. Um, we paired the first eye tracker with a QWERTY keyboard back in the late 80s. So that was pretty big back then. And we think about there's many companies here that uh, do that. And it's a great benefit to the end users to have such a, a good variety of companies, different eye trackers, different softwares to choose from and really find the best solution. So that's what we're interested in. No eye tracker is perfect. Not ours, not theirs. Uh, and that's the beauty of providing a trial, collecting data to find out what works best for the individual. Because it's not always the eye gaze edge. And I'll be the first to, uh, I'm, I'm also an SLP, um, aside from working for the company. So, you know, just like to say it like it is and help the person find what's best for them. All right. This slide was at the very end and I just moved it up to the front because this is really important. Who are we? We believe that people are looking for a communication device that meets their specific needs. Um, one that's not only communication, but connectivity. Uh, one that is backed by a team of compassionate eye tracking experts who will support and who will teach, who will be there on the weekends to take phone calls. That's really who we are. And we've designed the eye gaze edge to add to somebody's comfort, their experience when sitting in front of their communication device, to work with their eyes as they change. It doesn't only work with people who have tricky eyes or atypical eyes, but it works for a lot of people with completely typical eyes. Um, we have designed our cameras and our image processing software to change with a person's eyes as much as it can with the changing body due to the diagnosis they have um, with the goal of preserving their connection to the world. So that's really what we're going for. So the iGaze Edge comes as a complete package shown here. It includes communication software, access to a computer and the internet just with the movement of an eye or both eyes, apps, entertainment, computing, access to a smartphone, Android and iPhone, an emergency alert system, an emergency text system that can be activated just with their eyes, environmental control capabilities, and it's accessed by a touch screen. They can plug in a mouse and use a mouse if they're using some sort of a hand mouse, a keyboard, eye tracking. You can put a, you can put a head tracker, a head mouse on the top, uh, plug in a switch on the side, so multiple access methods. Again, because it's not just eye gaze, but we have these people who are along a spectrum of access. And in the morning, it may be one access method is better. In the evening, another access method is better. It comes with the eye gaze edge, the appropriate mounts that the person needs, a carrying case, home delivery, and an in-person training and setup. We really want to hold hands and make sure that people are confident and really can um, uh, use the system after we leave. It comes with a suite of training videos right on the device, not only for the end user, but for their support staff, and a warranty that ranges from one to three years and lifetime technical support. Each person who gets the eye gaze edge when they call us, uh, we know who they are because we built their eye gaze edge for them. And they have the direct contact of someone they can contact on the weekends, on Christmas Eve, on Thanksgiving morning. We've gotten calls at any time just when things aren't working and they need it to work. So that's who we are. The most frequently asked question and a really important question is what makes the eye gaze edge different from what else is available? And I brought one of our cameras here. This is our Encore camera. And this is a really cool piece of engineering that 
stands out. We're the only, we manufacture this in Virginia. This is the Encore camera and it's only available on the eye gaze edge. So we like to approach therapists and evaluation centers to say this really is a robust tool, we'll talk about that in a minute, that will give you a diverse uh, offering in addition to what you may already know or already have. And it will work for trick people who tend to fall short or they can't use other systems very well. We'll talk about those accommodations in a moment. So we have 18 reasons to consider the eye gaze edge. So first, uh, well, number 18, we'll count down. It arrives unlocked, so there's no fee. You just turn it on, calibrate, and go. To access the internet, you don't have to pay extra for that. Number 17, we provide expert training from our eye tracking experts. Each one of our representatives receives a deep knowledge, uh, deep training in eye tracking and how it works and when it doesn't work, why that might be. So when the experts go to uh, their house or we do a virtual session, we really try and get to the heart of the matter. Personalized teaching, hands-on practice, we have good written instructions, video modules, and follow-up training available for the lifetime of the device. Number 16, our camera is a finely tuned instrument. Um, in the Encore camera, we have one infrared light that's in the center of a high zoom lens. So we've got a, a highly pixelated picture of their pupil lit up by one infrared light, so it's low fatigue, having less infrared light on the surface of the eye. High accuracy for many people. Again, it's not perfect. And it's really medical grade engineering. We call it, I call it a masterpiece. Um, it's comfortable to use. You just point it, it's on a hinge, so you point it at their eye or eyes, get a nice focused image, and then you get them into calibration. Uh, the next thing is the eye gaze edge is light and slim. Uh, it's just under two and a half pounds. It's easy to position on the mounting arm that we have, and then the camera is positioned separately from the tablet for extra flexibility for those who are positioned in uh, Know, less than standard ways. It's a modular design, so if, um, if a cord breaks or if a pulser, and a pulser in any eye tracking camera here can burn out occasionally, we can just send them a new camera and have them send theirs back. We can overnight a new camera. So there's a, a benefit to having this modular design where it's not completely uh, packed into the device itself. Number 14, this is a big deal. Um, Non-glare screen. I don't know if you've ever, like when iPads first came out, if you were trying to read a book outside, the, the surface of the iPad screen is so shiny. Uh, and then we have kind of our next generation of e-readers, Kindle and Nook, where they put this kind of matte finish where it was easy on our eyes so we could really pay attention to what's on the screen rather than having the interfering glare. glare. Um, we have a non-glare screen cover that's antimicrobial. Across our suite of software, we have dark screens, muted colors. We filter out the blue light waves all the time. We've made all these changes over the last three decades because eye gaze edge users have said, hey, bright colors make me tired. Or hey, can you do this? Or hey, I notice I'm not sleeping at night after using my device. Uh, funny thing with uh, now in the industry, I'm an iPhone user. We have night mode and kind of filters out the blue light waves after 9 p.m. There's research that shows that helps me get a better night's sleep if I have the blue light waves blocked out. So industry-wide, it's, it's cool to see how these things are understood and implemented across, uh, across platforms. This one is one of my favorites, really helpful. When I go into a home of someone who's struggling to find the right eye tracking device, on our screen we have feedback of their eye in live time. This helps the support staff point it in the right direction. It helps us clear out if, we, if they had a cataract or an eyelash on their cornea, we could see that very clearly here in the image. And we can get that out of the way. If, say if there's um, deposits on their cornea, we could see that and give them eye drops and uh, rule out that factor. We also have uh, an on-screen pause button on every screen so they can know when they're paused and they can have more control over this pause function and gaining their bearings on any screen. Number 12, this one's really big. I might go into someone's home and they say, okay, I need communication, but after that I want Facebook or I want Amazon. It's really high priority. Through our iWorld, our web browser, 
surfing Facebook is easy, it's intuitive, and it takes a lot of the struggle out for a lot of people I've seen kind of switch over from other devices to the eye gaze edge because that was so important to them. Have an easy browsing experience. Go to Amazon and shop. We have apps for Netflix, Hulu, eBay, things that are really popular. We have a portal for uh, OK Google, Alexa, Siri, where they can customize and access their home environmental control. Number 12, you can use your smartphone. That can be an Android or iPhone for calling, SMS text messaging, WhatsApp, if that's your thing. And again, here on the screen, we see our eye image in the corner. We have our pause button so they can have a sense of control and their spatial positioning and you know how it's going to work best for them. This is really cool. You can control another device. So here on this picture, we have the eye gaze edge on the left. And on the right, you have any other device that accepts cursor control. So here we have an iPad. You can have a MacBook. You can have a Linux system or a PC. The eye gaze edge acts as the mouse and keyboard for the system. People who are using that are people who are working still, maybe vocational rehab clients who need full computer access or access to their government issued laptop. So again, they're using the eye gaze edge not only as a communication system, but as a keyboard and mouse for another system that takes cursor control. We have that set up in our booth if you'd like to see that on a nice large desktop screen. I think that's a really cool feature. It's called eye gaze connect. One of our strong points, the eye gaze edge works with less than perfect eyes. If people have thick glasses or progressive trifocals, progressive bifocals, often it works really well. If they have drooping eyelids, we can accommodate for that pretty well. If they have nystagmus, where their eyes are bouncing, we can accommodate for that. Strabismus, if their eyes are dry, we have an on-screen indicator that lets us know that to troubleshoot that. If someone has had cataracts removed and lens replacement surgery, sometimes they have difficulty in eye tracking in certain portions of the screen. We have an accommodation for that in our software. So all of these things have come quietly over the years of experience by people saying, hey, now it doesn't work. Can your engineers <laughs> make it work? Here we have an image of a person that has a chemical burn. And you can see, let me just highlight the pupil. should be like a full moon, like bright. But here we see that part of it's kind of carved out. So there was a chemical burn there. And we see these data points that our, our software is putting on and making it work for this person. I Gaze Edge is made in Virginia. Uh, we personalize it for our customers. And we're now in 50 countries where we've provided I Gaze Edge devices. A lot of that is send it and do it all remotely. And this was even in the 90s before we had Zoom and Skype and all of that. Number seven, powerful computing. We have some pretty good computer specs on our device. Processing speed, the screen resolution, the Wi-Fi speed, and the Bluetooth uh, storage capabilities are pretty robust. So if that's important to someone, um, you know, we know it's important to a lot of people. Here on the screen, we have an image of desk, like Windows control. So we have commands on the right, and then here we have a program from the Windows desktop that someone's accessing. 25 books have now been written using the iGaze Edge. It's a low fatigue, high accuracy system, so you can do a lot of work if that's what your life calling is to do, you know, sitting in front of your iGaze system. It comes pre-installed with music, including music by Adele. <laughs> um, you can build your music library. You have a nice way to access and keep your music organized, which is really important to some people. And it has a whole entertainment suite with great uh, games, access to uh, websites that are entertaining. This is really important. When you call our office, a person answers, and we usually know who you are. Um, eye tracking, as you know, can be thrown off by little factors that we may not be aware of. So sometimes you're just gonna need an expert tech support to come in, remote in, look, give you some coaching. And so we pride ourselves in, in trying to be the best at that. That includes weekdays, weekends, holidays, and emergencies too. We have remote login access. If that device is connected to the Wi-Fi somewhere, we can log in and see what they're seeing. 
Number three, we really are nerds about accuracy. Um, we have two cameras. This is the Encore. We have our previous camera, which is the Prime camera. So if we came in for an evaluation to help a speech therapist, we might say, hey, let's find out which one provides the best performance for that individual. We collect a lot of mathematical data and have a large library of typical and atypical eye images that we use to refine our processes. You don't get headaches, there's minimal light coming out of the system, and we often hear, oh my gosh, this is so accurate, oh my goodness, this is so great. Again, not all cases, but we hear that a lot. Number two, we really understand how eye tracking works, including eye physiology. We have medical professionals that are working with engineers to kind of marry the physiological with the mathematical to make something work that didn't work before. We understand eye tracking science. Here's generations of our cameras since the late 80s. Uh, reason number one is our visual, our design is really backed by research and feedback from our users since 1988 saying this works well and this doesn't work well. So we make changes. Um, we have our own original iGaze software and now we feature the MindExpress 5 software platform which is wonderful, very customizable, has symbol sets for kids, games for adults, all sorts of computers, and a platform where you can create really what that person needs. Booth 304, iGaze.com, that's where you can find us online. And of course, log on and uh, give your feedback on this and every other session. Oh, and that's it. So, nothing else. Any questions, come up and, or questions here, or come up and talk to me afterward or in Booth 304, and it's been great to be here. Thanks for listening.